Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this particular video, I will let you guys know how we can perform customer cohort analysis using Tableau. So before actually demonstrating you that how we can perform the customer cohort analysis in Tableau, I will first let you know that what is a cohort. So cohort basically means a group. So it can be a group of customers or it can be a group of any other entity as well. So as you can see, uh, that the demonstration which I will show you in this particular demonstration, we will be having various years just as uh, so in this image, as you can see, we, I have various years 2018, 2019, 2020 and 2021. So out of the total sales, which were happened in 2018, how many sales were uh, how, uh, like how many percentage of percentage of the sales were happened by the customers who were acquired in in the 20 in this particular year only I mean the 2018 year. So in 2018, 100% of the sales were happened by the customers who were acquired in 2018. So as you can see on the right hand side, this is the color legend. So blue color basically represents the customers which were acquired in 2018. Orange color represents the customers which were acquired in 2019. Similarly for 2020 and 2021. So as we can see in 2019, out of the total sales which were happened, 77% of the sales, 77.60% uh, percentage of the sales were done by the customers which were acquired in 2018 and 2020.40 percentage of the sales were done by the customers which were acquired in 2019. So, so, uh, via by, by this particular bar, we can understand that, uh, in 2019, the customer acquisition percentage was 2020.40 because 2020.40 percentage of the customers are the customers which were, which are new customers and 77.60 percentage of the customers are coming from the previous year only, which is 2018. Similarly, if we look for 2020, out of the total 100% sales which were happened, 74.67% of the sales were happened by the 2018 customers, 16.33% percentage of the sales were done by uh, 2019 customer and 29% uh, of the sales were done by the customers which were newly, newly acquired. That is the customers which belong to the 2020 uh, group. So now I will close this particular image and I will let you know how we can create this particular uh, chart using Tableau. So I am opening a new Tableau instance. And I will connect to sample suppose superstore data for creating this. I have connected to, connected to the data. Now I will search for order date. So these are the various order date which are present in my, uh, in my data. The year of order date is 2018, 2019, 2020 and 2021. So these are basically the various years and now I will drag the sales over here. So these are the various sales which are happened in this, this particular year. So I will switch it and make it to a bar chart and I will convert it to an entire view. So this particular chart basically shows us that in 2018, what were the total, total number of sales similarly for 2019, 2020 and 2021. Now for performing the customer cohort analysis, what I will do is I will figure out the minimum order date of each customer. So why minimum order date is required because for example, we have a customer, uh, customer a, so we want to figure out that when that particular customer first purchased the product from this particular company. So for figuring out that we need to find the minimum order date that what, what was the first, when was the first time he purchased, purchased a product from this particular company. So that will basically give us the customer acquisition date for that particular customer. So for doing that, I will be creating a calculated field and I will be using a fixed LOD over here. So I will write the calculation as fixed, uh, sorry, fixed customer name, colon minimum order date. And I will close the braces and I will name this particular cal uh, calculation as customer acquisition date. Okay. Now I have this particular calculation with me. Now what I will do is I will put th this particular calculation inside the color. So I have put that particular calculation inside uh, inside the color marks card. So these are the various year 2018, 2019, 2020 and 2021. And if I put some of sales over here in the text, so we will be like able to see the sales number. But now suppose we want to see the, these sales numbers in the form of a percentage. So for doing that, what I will do is I will click over here and I will go to quick table calculation and I will click on percentage of total. 
now what i will do is i will again go over here and i will click on edit table calculation and compute using table down so earlier it was giving us 21.08 percentage but this percentage is wrong because in 2018 whole sales were done by 2018 customers only but this 21.08 percentage is showing us wrong so i will click on table down so now it is giving us a 100% so now our uh, our calculation is true so this is the uh, the difference which which has been created is because because the way we are uh, computing the percentage of total earlier we were computing it using table across but we want to compute is compute it using table down so i have done this now as a next step i will remove this sum sum of sales and i will click on control and I, and i will drag the sum of sales ag again on rows so as you can see we have got the graph which we which we were discussing earlier so in 2018 all the 100% of the sales were done by uh, done by the 2018 customers only similarly for 2019 2020.40 were done by the customers of 2019 and 77.60 percentage of sales were done by the 2018 customers only similarly we can see the bar for 2020 and 2021 and we we can format it a little bit and if if you want you can play around with to format it format the graph and i will name this particular uh, sheet as cohort analysis so this particular chart basically help us in see uh, help the company in seeing that in which year how uh, like what is the percentage of returning customers and uh, in each year how many new customers were acquired by the company so that's all for this particular video guys if you like the video then please subscribe to my channel thanks